वेलकम टू यू योर सुगा एस एफ एस डी यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियो एंड टू गेट द रियल टाइम सपोर्ट फॉर फ्यू डेज क्लास फोर टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट सी एम आई आर एंड आइटम प्रपोजल इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी कवर्ड कस्टमर मास्टर एंड मेटेरियल मास्टर सी एम आई आर नती मटे कस्टमर मेटेरियल इनफो रिकॉर्ड ओके वर द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सी एम आई आर If our customer having his own material code, okay, his own material, we can take on a X material, okay. If customer want to place X material in SAP, we created code as for X material one two three four. But for same X material, customer having his own material code six seven eight nine. So when our is placing the sales order, okay, what he will tell? I want ten quantity of six seven eight nine ten. So, if you enter six nine eight ten ten metal code in our SAP, it will throw the error. Metal is not defined because of this is not our SAP metal code. This is customer metal code. Then how we can do? We are mapping our SAP metal code to customer metal code. So when our customer place this sale order, okay, automatically system will convert convert to our SAP metal code. Okay, we will see that how it will work in SAP. so for example we can we can take on this is on a, this is on material so on a, the t code to create the cmr vd51 okay go to vd51 uh, the, uh, we can take this customer no problem this combination customer sales are distributed this combination we are maintaining the uh, condition uh, i mean customer master info record customer metal info record So this is the SAP metal code. This is the customer metal code. A, A B C D one two three four five. Okay. This is the customer metal code. This is the SAP metal code. Now I am saving this. Now I am creating sale order for this customer with nine double nine material. Now I am creating the sale order. So whenever here, usually we are entering materials like this, right? Asset material. If you want nuts, we are entering nut material. But client, what he will do? He will enter. Okay, he will send to us. What he will send? He will send to us. I want A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four, five material, ten quantity. So see here, automatically. See here, automatically. System define our metal code. How it will define back end? We assign. I mean, we done the CMIR, customer metal info record. Okay, uh, we can we will do one thing here. I am entering. Okay, here I am entering some other random code. See, not possible because of against this material we are there is no there is no SAP metal. We not define anything. Okay. So or else I am entering sixty two material. See, we didn't get any customer material, customer material info record, right? So what we'll do? We I am copying this material. I am maintaining the info record. We did fifty one for the same customer. See here, here I am entering one two three four five six eight. Now I am saving. Now I am creating one more sale order again. See, when I enter the system material, see automatically customer material info record would came. So I am under thirty nine material. I didn't get anything because of there is no customer info record for this material. So instead of entering material, I am entering the data customer material. Okay, see automatically system will system will took our material, our SAP material code. Okay. This is the customer metal info record. In sales document, we have some control. We have one control. What is that? For this sale order, info record has to read or not. Okay. So, for example, you can see here uh, in this field, customer must info record. I am unchecking this. I am saving now. Now I am creating sale order. Now I am creating sale order. 
see same order type i am going to use vivo over same customer okay here the same it i am using so 62 enter see system not given any we customer will be but we have the data see it is not proposed any material because of for the sales document type it is not possible to read the cmir where is that control that control is there in sales document type control so if you check the system will read the cmir now i am creating sale order again c62 material i am entering here see automatically customer material came so i am entering customer material see automatically our material came so this is the this is the cmir customer master info record next item proposal what is the item proposal if any customer is regularly placing same material same quantity okay always whenever the x my x customers uh, x customer came okay always is asking that uh, a b c d material with two three three quantity so always always is buying this three materials always okay in that case what we will do okay you are while creating seller we have to enter the material manually right so we know before creating order, order itself we know this customer which material is going to place the order so in that case okay why we have to why we have to enter the material manually okay if you create one item proposal okay if you create one item proposal whenever we are creating sale order for that customer instead of entering the material manually in sale order we can call it item proposal if you call it item proposal automatically the data will fetch into sale order what are materials we assign in item proposal same material will reflect in sale order okay we will see in in a safety that first for that one first we have to create one order type for item proposal first we have to create one order the standard one is pv the standard order type is pv so i am copying this i am creating my own order type yo pv okay I hope you already did that. So I'm I'm changing the Y1 PV. Now I'm saving this. See here. D D not the sales document category D D nothing but a item proposal. And five the transaction group VA fifty one, VA zero one. Order V11 quote inquiry V21 quotation okay V41 contract V31 still same like that V51 is for item proposal okay this item proposal we need to assign okay we need to assign to sales area the T code is OVAZ OVAZ so what is our sales area here Y10 YD yr document type y1 pv so it is it is already it is here don't need to assign it. it is already here okay now i am creating item proposal va51 configuration done now i am creating item proposal here i am entering y1 pv so this is my sales area just i am clicking enter description item proposal for Nani or Nani private limited. Okay. What material? This one material. This is one material, and this is one material, and this is this four material is going to place this sale order each and every time. This is uh, one quantity. This is uh, uh, three quantity. This one four quantity. This one seven quantity. The unit of measurement also we can change here if we, if, we, if we want. Okay, now I am saving. So what the number item proposal number five five zero four two. This item proposal number I am going to assign in sales order. Sorry, 
before assigning to customer just i will create sale order for this customer see here there is no if you click here there is no item proposals right okay manually we need to enter the materials this one this one this one so manually we have to enter each and every time so now what i am doing i am not running anything here just i am going to slash and xg0 to customer change more customer change more sales area tab here we have the item proposal here i am entering i am pasting the item proposal number just i pasted the number i need the default plan is there only for now i am saving okay now i am creating sale order with that customer see here i am not entering material manual just what i am calling item proposal this item proposal symbol okay click that so this is item proposal without quantity or with quantity so i want with quantity default with quantity you can see here automatically the four metals came with along with quantity okay i am doing delivery no things in the terms payment terms is missing this is a mandatory Income tax payment terms are maintained. Now I am doing delivery. Okay, this is the one quantity. This is the three quantity. This is the four quantity. This is the seven quantity. Now I am doing PJ. Later I am doing invoice. Okay. Okay. This is the item proposal and sales. Uh, I mean. CMI. This is the T code VA fifty five slash and VA fifty five is the T code to T code list of the item proposals. For example, I given this material. I want to see the list of for against this material. We have this many item proposals. Okay, we can see like this. Okay, next class I am going to cover cross selling. Okay. once again thank you all for your time please subscribe channel for more videos and to get the real time free support for few days thank you all for your time